Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on Cardex Gamer. I'm CXG and today we'll be playing some more random dev pro battling. And I might just take the numbers off the dev pro battling because it's just going to be random dev pro battling. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be just playing, we're going to go with different decks and it's going to be great. But also, here's the thing I want to ask you guys. Since Yu-Gi-Oh! is kind of popular on this channel, and since you guys seem to like it somewhat, I was thinking that we could, I could do something for you. I just want you guys to tell me what kind of deck you want me to play, or if you have a deck in mind you want me to play, you can send it to me in the e my, my email, which I'll leave a descri description. I'll leave my email in the description, so you guys can send me it, and we can. Or if you got a recording you want me to see, I'll get, I'll try and get it to work from here. Increase the volume a little bit. Okay, so you can counter deck. Destroyed. Um, I'm gonna go Sarko. I'm going to go with rare value, because rare value is kind of good. I'm going to put Amber Mammoth in attack mode. Set two cards face down. I think Summoner Monk would actually be really good in this deck, because one reason why is because this card deck kind of runs a few more spell cards probably than normal. Wonder why different dimension capsule. That's not usually a card people use. Well, it's more pop. It's it, it can be used more, but you gotta protect your cards. But it's also hidden, so you don't know what it is. But if I get an MSC and I destroy it, it's pretty much useless. What's rainbow? Oh, that's kind of cool. I just need a bunch of crystal beasts in my graveyard. Gonna use crystal beast star sapphire pegasus, and I'm probably gonna put. I don't know. I'll put topat. I'll put topat. I'll actually put emerald tur tortoise. The spell and trap zone. Mammoth, attack! Charge! Oh, Jesus. That plan didn't work out so well. But, um, so I actually, I'm actually gonna try and make sure I get all my recordings done. In time for you guys, so it'll be nice and good for you. Nice and goodies. That guy's sending a lot of spell and trap cards. Rainbow Dragon's in my hand now. Rare value. Ooh, what do I got in my extra deck? Black Rose. Goyo. I could Black Rose the entire field. I could do that. I'm going to do that. It gives me a little more freedom. With Black Rose, it'll help out a little bit. Even up the playing field. I probably shouldn't have set that card, though. Oh, big time. That's gonna, that's gonna be some nice... The hell! Oh my God! He had a serial of Oreo Calco set. Holy shit! Yeah, lost connection, my butt. Sorry, you guys, don't get to see a good view. But also, if I had recording, I probably would just stretch it out to one match. 
Oh my god, when I have recording software, when I have editing software, I mean, holy shit, that, that's going to be fun. I've never played Crystal Beast, though. They're, they're always an interesting deck, but I've never played it myself. It's like, this is my first time playing, and this is not exactly known for being the best Crystal Beast deck in the world. So, yeah, I have tabs for it. Yeah, and I was up late last night, so... This is Monday. I'm recording this on Monday. I didn't lose connection in my ass. But, um, I'm starting this recording on Monday, because I want to make sure you guys get this recording on Tuesday, when you're getting it. So it's very important for me. That you get this. So I'm making sure I record as much as possible. Okay, so I'm going to put Sapphire Pegasus into play. Using his effect. Down out of the Crystal Beast. I'm going to probably put, um... A Topaz Tiger. I'm going to do Amethyst Cat. Then I'm going to set our face down. You know what kind of a cool idea? Putting Gravity Crush Dragon in this. Because these consider continuous spell cards. So using his effect to pop, pop, punch. It's a unique way of playing. What is he playing? Well, and then again, Upstart Goblin is kind of a good draw power. It gets you draw, but it kind of sucks that at least Pot of Greed, well, Pot of Greed could be spammed as well. Here's the combo. When it succeeds, someone draw one card. He's trying to draw here, and I'm going to say Dark Bribe, you asshole. Get dark, get wrecked. What's that, a gold Sarko? Ooh, that's a good card. Mm. I think I might go with another Sapphire Pegasus. Because those are always helpful. I'm going to set this. I already got three different names. 200 points of damage. I'm done here. Like, there's different cards in this game, like, there's way, different ways, you can play normal meta, I haven't even seen the new ban list yet, myself. That's, that's great. Um, do I have anything? I don't have any level 3 exceeds. It'd be nice if I could get Synchro off. Awesome! Topaz Tiger. Virtual Tribute. Yes. Dude, this deck, this deck excels in using cards, especially with I can get rid of them. Using, like, Gravity Crush Dragon would also help clear the field up a bit in case you keep. This is a zombie deck of some sorts. Okay. You got a way of playing? I got mine. First of all, let's see what I can pull off here. First, let's special summon Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon is always special. Normal summon. Now I'm going to go searching through my deck and find some Crystal Beasts that... Ooh, this is special summon. I'm going to put Mammoth in here because I don't have him yet. Then I'm going to activate taking Pegasus back to my hand to summon my Birdman, my Genex ally Birdman to sink or Stardust. I probably wasn't a good move, but I wanted to make sure I had any possible hand drops. So I got quite a few combo. It's weird, but I'm going with it. I need a way to special summon Ruby.
Um, what card did they make? Utopia? Start Goblin. Oh my god, are they seriously Utopia the Lightning? Fire damage. Ooh. Okay. Not exactly the card I need right now. I'll set I'll set Turtle to get him in there. Oh wait, I don't want to use Turtle. I want to put him in the trash or graveyard, whatever. That might this card that card actually might be good for Crystal Beast for one reason, like the fact that Crystal Beast kind of thrive off getting destroyed in the matter. So if you destroy by effect, you can use that supply unit to draw cards, which will accumulate more of your hand. Which oh god, two thousand defense. I can survive. Not using it. It's like uh, I need a rare value of some kind. It's just kind of nerve wracking. I don't know how to play crystal piece that well. No. Will you use this effect? Zombies are... Zombies have interesting plays, because they can go for so much. Uh, I approve of zombies, Zach. I haven't seen most of the new kinetic cards, but it's like, also when people think Gladiator Beasts. Like, I have nothing wrong with Gladiator Beasts, it's just... They can make it... It's like, some people are like hero users. We don't want to let them go, and I'm actually working on making a hero deck. For for I'm trying to make a hero deck, which will be awesome. Awesome. So first, I'm going to summon Topaz Tiger. I won't say I won't play that next because I don't have anything. Fluffle? Fluffles! That's awesome! I approve. I'm gonna negate that play though. I know you want something in the graveyard. You use the old poly. Well, anyway, so I'm sorry not as talkative. I'm actually kind of in the game right now. Holy shit! Polly, it's a polarization moment. <gasps> Damn it, that was my savior. Crystal pear. Oh man, I was gonna put amethyst tiger in there. Right for fusion. Oh, that's cool. That that's actually really awesome. This is awesome. I have never seen someone play a deck, play a fluffle deck before. That was that was a FTK. He FTK'd me. God damn it.
Give me a sec, I'll get you guys in a minute.